Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson in this Tosca automation course. Today, we are going to talk about another important concept uh, in test case generation, which is called the test case template. Now, until now, we have seen how you can design your test cases uh, based on the number of combinations, the attributes, um, and its values, right? So we can design our test cases based on what attributes we define and then what instances we have. And then we can create a number of combinations um, using different techniques which is present in the test case design section but coming back uh, to the test cases section right now we have the design but we need to generate test cases based on this design so how tosca helps us do that so uh, coming to test case template right uh, it is basically a way of creating concrete test cases out of your test case design right so the test sheet which we have prepared now test case template will help us to derive uh, those number of test cases from those combinations okay now uh, this is helpful when you have similar sequence or structure for a particular test cases or a group of test cases right so these can be modeled with a particular template and then Test cases can be dynamically generated using that particular test sheet which you have already have created okay so there are two properties uh, in test case template uh, one is the schema path which is basically the path of the data source which contains the schema of the template data now this data source either could be the test design sheet right or you can also use the excel sheet the other property is instance name now when test case template are instantiated test case names are automatically generated by using these instance names of the data source which could be the test data sheet now how to instantiate the test case template i will show you uh, in the next video now there are a few options uh, which you should be aware of when you are creating a test case template so there is check template uh, this is one feature uh, which automatically verifies your template for any particular errors now it is based on the schema path right so the data source and uh, here basically what happens is it will compare the names which are used in the template with the attribute names of your uh, test design sheet it will also uh, verify your conditions uh, properties test configuration parameters so basically everything uh, which is used in the template and if there are any errors it will show you there itself while you are performing this operation which is called the check template okay so this is the first thing which you should do whenever you are creating a template you should first verify it with the check template okay the next thing is uh, edit schema path now if you have already linked your um, data source with the test case template you can also change it by this wizard which is called the edit schema path okay so you can change the schema source there's also an option uh, where you can um, move back to your original test case uh, which is called convert to test case so once you have converted into a template you can also go back and uh, make it again a test case if you want to revert back and this is the option to do that okay so uh, let's see uh, with a real example in tosca to demonstrate this particular feature i have created a new test case for our source demo app right so we have got this login page where we have got username and password field and the login button and then we have got different usernames based on that it will throw different errors right and we have got a password so we want to capture the error message and we want to log in into this page right so that's the scenario simple scenario for that i have created this particular test case validate login um, i've got four steps open url login user validate error message and then there's a tbox window operation which is basically to close the application right so uh, you can actually name it as close application okay now in open url uh, it's just passing the url from a configuration parameter which is the url okay and then login user i've got username password error and the login button which is i'm clicking on that 
these values of the fields will be getting it from the test data sheet okay similarly for valid error if we enter a invalid username or password we'll get an error message and we are going to verify it okay so the action mode is verify for the error field okay now uh, we need to have different combinations here right of our test cases so one will be a valid scenario one would be an invalid scenario for that um, i have created this test case design sheet so i have got uh, two instances test case one and test case two um, i've got the administration section which test designer test cycle and comments so we have all seen this earlier right i've got the process where um, i'm entering a username and a password and as you can see i have got different instances of this username and password so i've got a standard user and a locked out user right for two different scenarios and i've got the password here okay now um, coming here in verification i have got a message verification um, for the locked out user i have got this specific uh, message error message which should be verified in case of a standard user which is a valid login i don't have any error message right so i've left it empty now this is the test design sheet and uh, this is the test case somehow i need to link this test case design with this test case and i need to generate two test cases out of it right i can generate any number of uh, test cases but right now i have just two instances okay so i want to generate two test cases automatically from this test case design sheet with different values different test data values right for these different test steps so that's that's the um, feature which we are looking at and for that we need to now convert um, this particular test case into a test case template right because uh, that's the template which we want to use to generate two instances out of the same test case right so the steps will be same but the test data is little different okay and depending on how the scenario is based we want to also specify some conditions so for that, uh, Tosca provides you with an option called test case template. So right click on the test case and there you will find an option called convert to template, right? So click on that and now this test case will be converted into a test case template. How can you tell that? You will see there is a T symbol now associated with this particular test case. So that T symbol will indicate that this is a test case template and not a test case, okay? Now, coming to uh, different properties of this test case template, um, we talked about schema path, right? So this is where you will link your data source, which is the test design sheet um, and the instance name. Okay, so you can provide an instance name, but that we'll see later. Now, some other things are three options, which we talked about, the check template, the edit schema path, and the convert to test case right so we can convert back to our test case we can edit the schema path if a data source is linked and uh, we can also check the template for any particular errors right so when you click on that you will see if there are no errors it will say no errors found in template if there are any errors it will pop up those errors okay now the most important part is to link our test case design sheet with our test case right so how you can do that where well, it's a very simple drag and drop feature right so just drag this particular test case or test design sheet into your test case template okay once you do that uh, your test design sheet will be linked to your test template now, if you want to see whether your test case design sheet uh, is actually linked to your template, you can just right click on the template and you can go to jump to schema definition. Let's do one thing. Uh, let's close uh, this test case design section. OK, and now let's right click on the test case template and the first option is jump to schema definition. So when you click on that, it will automatically take you to the design sheet, which is linked to this particular template. OK, so that's the way of um, verifying whether your test case design sheet is already linked 
to your test case template right now the other thing uh, which you will notice is once you link your test case design sheet with your test case template what will happen is the values of your test steps will change right so the username you can see now uh, there is uh, a link provided here which tells that uh, this is a parameter which is coming from the excel sheet or the test design sheet right so process.username process.password same for here so um, this is how it is automatically linked with different um, parameter values with these test step values okay now although um, you can see these uh, the first step is correct where we are entering the username and password but the second step is all about validating the error message so we don't need to input a username and password here right so uh, we just want to verify the error message here so we want to get that particular message and in situations like this where you want to uh, specifically um, put a value or link a particular value to the test design sheet what you can do is you can define a parameter like excel dot okay not dot uh, square bracket and then it will give you all the different attributes here right which is present in that particular sheet and that's your data source which is linked to this template okay so here um, what i want to do is i want to verify right so i'll say verification dot message okay so that will select the message and then i will close this so you can do this manually if it is not automatically done when you are trying to link the particular sheet for any particular um, parameter value. So uh, that completes our uh, test case template, right? And now let's go ahead and check the template once again so that there are no errors found, right? So that we don't make any mistakes here. So the next step is to instantiate this template and to generate uh, test cases automatically out of this template. So we'll see that uh, in our next video.